Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man giving you the truth, and this is part of the Isaiah 4 and 1 series. This is the second half, the double play, if you will, on today. Isaiah 4 and 1 says that seven women will take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own food, wear our own clothes. Only let us be called by your name. Take away our disgrace. See, that scripture is showing us that they still going to be on that independent stuff. But they're going to realize that monogamy is dead. That you either going to be in somebody's harem. Or you're going to have to find you a simp. He possibly going to be like mentally weak or slower than other men. That still uh, believes in that sort of thing. But we talking about the twerking senator on this one. But we also going to talk about this thing of women controlling the manosphere. Listen, man, as long as y'all got OnlyFans, as long as y'all make an amateur prawn, P-O-R, fill in the blank, playing hangman, as long as y'all got twerking senators, twerking for votes, y'all will never control the manosphere. Never. Even with the FBI's help. Because guys, if they really want to get this message out, they'll just stop going on YouTube and they'll start renting out halls. You can't stop it. You can't stop it. They could come on YouTube, get YouTube what they want, censor themselves, and then go and rent out a, a hotel conference room and be uncensored. All y'all doing really is creating another avenue of revenue for guys who guys choose to listen to. You say, ah, oh, they, don't, they don't listen to you. Sure they do. And in fact, if I were to go public, there's no censorship in public. What they gonna do? If I, I mean, think about it, man. If I really wanted, as far as a church, or if I any message on YouTube, all you really got to do is go public and go hard with it. You're going to get some people, man. You're going to get some people. So you got this senator. She said, uh, vote for Senator Blake. She's on a beach, standing on her head, twerking. She telling you right then and there, if you vote for her, what are you going to get? You're going to get a jester. You're going to get a... a, a Y'all know they used to say, they said Mozart used to stand on his head. Or was that Beethoven? Like, they said he just used to do weird stuff like stand on his head. Like, when he wasn't uh, conducting, like, music and stuff like that, they said he would, they'll be talking to him, people would be talking to him, and he'll go on the corner and start, or uh, in the corner and start standing on his head. So... I would love to see the guys who vote for her. But what she did in, in terms of the way the world thinks was pure marketing genius. What she did also shows us where we stand as a whole. And why you shouldn't be marrying these women. You shouldn't be in no monogamous relationship. Because what if you marry somebody like her? College educated. Seem nice. Seem all right. Next thing you know, you come home, she's standing on her head twerking. What you gonna do? You gonna be sad. You gonna be watching my videos. But the fact of the matter is that be glad when they showing you this stuff, man. They showing you. Now I see in the last, I would say mainly the last nine years. I see why the Most High permitted, even participated in terms of allowing other men and even giving men wives, plural, polygyny. If you don't believe that the Most High condones it, then you need to go read 2 Samuel chapter 12 and read about David when David got in trouble with him because he gave him all of Saul's wives. God gave them to him, the Most High. 
Read it. And and David still set up a soldier in a battle he knew he was going to lose so he could have his wife. And that's he was trying to find a loophole in God's system where a woman, you can marry a woman if her husband dies. See, David knew he could have nine wives or what he have, eight. He knew she could be his wife too, but he tried to find a loophole in the most high system getting this man killed so he can have his wife too. And the Most High said, I would have gave you more if that's what you wanted. But he like, you don't, you shall not kill. Man, I got a glare in this room or in this uh, car. I mean, he said, in the commandments, you shall not kill. David, you might as well say, really was the one that killed the guy because he the one to set him up like that. See, when you try to set somebody up, it don't count. And that's, listen, this is what the Bible talks about. A woman, you can't marry a woman whose husband is still alive. If she divorced him for, really, what reason could she even divorce him for that's permissible for you to marry her? Now, if he left her, when, let's say he left her, she ain't do nothing, he just left. Then you could go after, but if he leave her because she's not being who she's supposed to be, then you getting with her is adultery. So, how do you figure women are controlling the manosphere when points like this go out every day? They're not controlling nothing. All they doing is talking like they always do. I heard one one talking earlier. I'm like, all these dudes standing around listening to her talk. She ain't even talking about nothing. It's like y'all dudes, man. I don't know. I'm sitting there writing, writing down something. This dude, this dude, this dude, just standing around. She the one talking, doing all the talking. Like she the, the wise guru out of the group. And they just standing there. And just because that happens don't mean in terms of the manosphere that women are running the manosphere. Because if you look at everybody's views and everybody's subscriptions, most people is just going up. I mean, I'm... They censoring the heck out of me and I'm still going up. Look at my views. You don't think they censor me? Look at my view. These two videos, same amount. This video, I mean, come on, man. They holding them back. They holding it back for whatever their reason is. But listen, man, it's perfectly fine for you. You, every man gonna have what he like in terms of women in terms of her body type, skin complexion, this, that, this, that. And that's how it's supposed to be. We ain't all supposed to like the same thing. That's why it's so much variety. But that don't mean they're controlling the manosphere. And that don't mean you should vote for a senator who had to twerk for votes. This is what's going on. You got women uh wanting attention from other guys even though their husband is making them who they are and, and giving them hundreds of millions at their disposal you got you got women who have an entanglement who who going against their husband in public who was defending them you got twerking senators you got women is unsubmissive like fiercely being sarcastic and condescending in their videos while looking for athletes to have more babies with so they could get money. You got people going against guys that's quoting scripture like Cam Newton. He basically, that's the scripture what he was saying. This is all the reason why Isaiah 4 1 is coming to pass. And if you marrying these women, 
without vetting them out, without even, it's only so much you could even vet because they'll some of them will change up on you. They'll be what you're looking for, and then down the line they'll be what you never would have got with. That's just the way it is. That's that's the game of relationships, man. And you'll get a couple guys that'll get through, like slide through the gate, through the portal with their unicorns and all the rest. Slap, alimony, smack, child support, smack, STDs, smack. How many, you, you got girls breaking up with their uh, boyfriends on text message. Dude sitting next to her, Go ahead and break up with him. I want to see you do it. I want to see you send it to him. Oh, I want to be with you no more. And the dude right next to him. The captain save a 304 right next to him. They will never run the manosphere because it's too much fuel and firepower being provided every day. You got um, Alpha Gaming. Slashing them with the re reaction videos. You got you got all these guys, man. You know, I, like I said, I don't want to get to name it. But how are they winning? Somebody tell me. With all these single women out here, how are they winning? How, you, if you try to tell me that guys ain't waking up, I'm going to look at you like you just a real complete weirdo. And here's why. Because if guys wasn't waking up, it wouldn't be so many single women. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. The DMs, from what I hear, I don't be in nobody's DMs. But from what I hear, people DMs, it don't matter how they look. It can be a big girl, anorexic looking girl white, black, Latino, whatever. They DMs is popping off the charts. They love dating. You know why? They single, but they DMs is full. Y'all know why? Because guys' desires haven't changed, but their level of wisdom and understanding in terms of women has. Do you think all these guys would be pumping dunk if they was getting more, if they was all getting unicorn type women with sex drive, ambition, abilities, selflessness, <clears throat> do you believe that? You believe that's how it would be? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, where is this coming from? Is it coming from the CIA? Because, by the way, some of these guys that quote-unquote are losing, like, for instance, Fresh and Fit, he told you he was an agent. That argument he had with Brittany Renner, he could have won easily. Don't trust, you can't trust an agent, man. A lot of these dudes, and watch anybody that be with dude, too. Anybody. Like, I don't, I ain't talking about, like, once here and there, because that could be that person just trying to, to build their brand. I'm talking about people who just consistently with them guys. Mm-mm. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the Isaiah 4 and 1 series. Talked about the senator, the twerking senator. It's where we at, man. It's where we at. And I don't mean what I'm finna say in closing. <clears throat> Disrespect. But 
our president who's shaking invisible hands, creating havoc all over the place. Look who he picked for his vice president. Nothing against her, but look, look what he did. Like he was pretty much one of the first to, you know, basically pick a woman, you know, to be his vice president. You got every now and then, you, you, you got a couple here and there, but I'm just saying, while y'all talking about they running the manosphere, while y'all uh, practically ready to go vote for a twerking senator? Imagine what she was doing in college. I can imagine, man. Well, I don't need to imagine because I'm, I'm sure it was triple, triple X rated. And now you want her to make decisions for the whole country? She's showing you where she stands. And again, got to give her credit for being real. You know, you, you showing everybody where you at. And I appreciate that. Because you, like many others, and they little TikToks and they little uh, Instagram videos, y'all, a lot of y'all women are showing me and other men why marriage is a thing of the past. If you can't just dispose of them like trash, it's a thing of the past. Like if you, listen, until a guy can just tell his wife to get out, nothing happened, people ain't gonna really, the smart people ain't gonna be getting married like that. But as long as your wife can slap you, cheat on you, do all this stuff, and then you, you still got a pair, Isaiah 4 and 1 is coming to pass. Guys is not, guys gonna be like, look, you know, you can be my girl, you can be like, I can think of you as a wife, but I'm not finna put myself on the line no more. Been there, done that. And matter of fact, is there a way we could make it where you could live in your own place because a lot of time that's when they start acting up on you when they move in I mean it's coming to pass y'all all these TikToks bringing it to pass all these twerking senators unsubmissive women bringing it to pass women on here talking about they don't want to cook and clean bringing it to pass Women on here with no kids talking about they don't want to work. Listen, if she ain't, if your girlfriend ain't got no kids, what's the reason? Why would she even be at home? What is she at home for? If she ain't got no kids. Since when is it me building an empire for you? Who are you? Now I can see me being an empire for us and you find a way to help me do it, but I don't build empires for you. And that's how men is supposed to view women. You don't build empires for her. Now, if you happen to have kids before you start building your empire or during or even after, then there you go. You building it for them. That's your legacy. But a woman who you don't have kids with, and even if you do, she still should find ways to enhance whatever it is you're doing. But these little girlfriends and wives with no kids, you should be working. You should be bringing some money and giving, giving up some money to help. That's your job. Eve was putting the garden to work. Am I saying every woman should work this job? That it just depends on your situation. No kids, marriage or relationship, you should be working. You should be paying. Matter of fact, if you ain't got no kids, you really should be paying half of them bills. Who are you? 
Because you got sex? Come on, man. He could get... I ain't going there. I ain't going there. But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep tuning in for more videos. This is The Truth Man. The channel is The No Matrix. No being sad over the waywardness of these women. Twerking senators. Uh, all this stuff that's going on. Don't, don't feel bad, man. Just live your life. Build yourself. Build your empire. You got kids. Do it for them. Make things easier for them so they won't feel, uh, especially if you got daughters, so she won't feel obligated to be a thought and to have a sugar daddy. You know? Give her what she needs to have so she can remain a traditional woman. Not feel like she got a thought stand on her head to get a position. But thanks for watching.